We are loaded up, ready to do some damage. God, I love this thing. I've got a pretty, I've got a decent sized garage at home, but if I didn't have a storage shed here at Store Hub, I would really be struggling now <laughs> with the amount of gear that I have. I need to buy like acreage with a shed or something. So this lady thinks she's getting a quote. Uh, we're actually gonna do it for free, give her a little surprise. Let's see how that goes. Ooh, okay. So who did it last time? Um, a family member. Jesus. And then my mower and whip snipper broke. Is there anything out here? Um, no, I did remove something just before, but nothing there. No waste though, or like no. No, 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 no. There is stuff in the corner, but I did try and get to it, but there's spider webs. So um, I was just gonna let you know. Don't worry about there. My car's and my car's there, but my car's broken. Oh, that doesn't move. No, it's not turning on, the battery's dead. Oh god, so. that, I'm just, I can't get a, the bit of gear that I would normally do this with, oh. in. Oh, is this raised here? I see. Sorry? I didn't realise this was raised here. Oh yes. You there? Yeah, sorry. That's alright, good news. I can, no, I, I can just squeeze the mower yeah. through that gap. Okay, cool. Um, I can get started now if you want. Sure. Yeah it's a big job. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's... That's all right. Let me get into it. I'll, okay, um, wow. do you yeah. Off yeah. Do you want to grab that off? Yeah, and, yeah. and, um, um yeah, so that's all right. No I worries. Mario, our biggest issue here is getting this thing through because this car, uh, doesn't go. So we got to squeeze through here. We have to move, uh, this stuff, the mattresses, and then I'm hoping we can squeeze through here. It's going to be very tight. And then out here. Now you could get through it with a line trimmer or even other mowers or whatever, but I, um, the thing that's going to do the best job is the flower mower here at uh, giving her a chance to then maintain it so we can get rid of all the junk. Uh, there's actually a ledge right there, which you can't see. So I might hook in with the uh, brush cutter first, the Makita one, just to clear that up so I can see what I'm looking at. Um, it's meant to be clear of debris. I'm going to do a walk through, but it's got these lovely things, the farmer's friends or whatever you want to call them, that just stick to you as soon as you go through. I haven't seen so many of them, actually. That's, that's pretty wild. Um, so yeah, going to be an interesting, <laughs> interesting job. Not a big yard, but, um, I mean the flower will knock this over easy. Just access is the biggest issue here. And then we're going to have quite a volume of waste to get rid of as usual, but it's definitely better to get rid of it than leave it here to rot. Okay, so we're going to clear a path for the flail mower. This stuff we've got to move out of the way. Okay, I am now of the belief that I can squeeze the flail mower through here, uh, but I'm going to hit it with the line trimmer first, the brush cutter. So they compare this to a 35cc petrol trimmer, single battery, 40 volt. I usually don't use this um, style, but uh, we're going to give it a go. There we go, we've revealed that. Not on camera, forgot to hit record, but uh, <laughs> there you go. At least now I can see what I don't want to be running into. I don't think I'll use that much more today. Uh, plenty of power. Um, the only thing, just yeah, me being very short, it kind of puts it at a awkward angle for me. Um, I think that's potentially why I haven't been all that attracted to those you know, bullhorn style trimmers. Definitely powerful product, works well. I'm just not used to them. So potentially there's some setup thing, things that I can do with the harness that'll make it easier for me. But 
because we are a little bit slopey here as well yeah it kind of exacerbates the issue for me but uh, i will try it in a big open paddock or something something a little flatter but let's go get the flail this machine is so cool a couple of passes and we have a really sorted out area you wouldn't even know all that was there let's get into this actually this will be satisfying to watch this get knocked down where do we start Knocked down, totally different yard already. Cannot say how much I enjoy using this thing, how much easier it makes my life. Uh, let's go get the little mini chainsaw and get these down. Have a look at the farmer's friends all over me. Yeah, this path can be used. It's the best part of doing this, just the transformation in such a short amount of time. You couldn't even walk out here before. Now have a look, I don't know when you're finished. No particular reason I'm doing this, I, I just want to do it. ridiculously effective. Normally I'll leave it for a day or two to dry out, which I will be, because I'm gonna be coming back here um, to bag the rest of it. But um, we had a big pile that was sort of pushed there by the flower mower, so used a full bag there. All right, I'm stuffed. This is looking amazing already. I'm still coming back in two days. I've got to go back to the fire station tomorrow. Today is Monday. I'll be back here Wednesday to rake all the dry grass up, uh, bag it up, mow over it with a normal mower, and then we will be done. That's a crazy result. Welcome back. We're a couple of days later after I initially knocked down this lawn. Welcome back to the worst part of the job. Worst part of the job for me anyway. Uh, but I think it's the part of the job that makes the biggest difference oops going forward for the lawn it looks very ugly out here but if you saw it at the start which I'm sure you have because this should all be in one video um, you'll know it's better than when we got here so yeah the intention was to leave this for a day or two let it dry out and that makes it a lot easier to bag uh, unfortunately it rained a bit yesterday so we're stuck with even wetter stuff than it was the other day, but that's all right. First things first, I'm gonna rake it up as much as I can anyway. And then we have, the Massport contractor is fixed. I did get a SMS yesterday saying that um, I can come pick that up. I don't know if I'll get time to do that today. So what we do have 
is the Makita 40 volt. We're going to see how this bags up the grass, hopefully well. I just changed the filters in my marks. They were absolutely filthy, uh, definitely overdue. Now I wear that because I get really bad hay fever, particularly uh, when it's really like this. All the, the grass and I don't know, I get, hay fe I get bad hay fever if I don't wear it. So it enables me to do what I'm doing. There's no conspiracy or anything about it. So this is the GVSP3. Uh, I like it because it's rubber. Uh, I sweat a lot when I'm doing this stuff. So if it's a fabric or um, paper, uh, they just uh, get all clogged up with the sweat. So they get drenched in the sweat. So this is good for that. They're not cheap. The filters aren't cheap, but uh, definitely it's been the best one that I've found so far, for me anyway. Look at all that. There's still a lot more to vacuum up. Once I pick all that up, it's good exercise. So I knew that was gonna happen when I mulched up all those uh, weeds that were on the fence here. I'll just have to pick them up, but <laughs> uh, nice and wet. Heavy bag now, but it was fun to mulch that stuff up. <laughs> I also get a lot of questions about this shovel. Uh, it's just a cyclone wide mouth one from Bunnings, a plastic one. Does the job well for me. I am doing a lot of bending over to get this stuff picked up though. I'm sure there's a, another way I'll try it. Some stage it's probably a bit easier. Picking up grass is just hard work. Um, it's always good to pull out as much of the rubbish as possible because this goes to a center where it gets um, all ground up and recycled and turned into a soil conditioner. So this stuff's not good. Bagging test time. This is the uh, 40 volt Makita um, self-propelled mower. It has four swing back blades, which is very traditional here for Australia. Yeah, we vacuumed up three quarters of the bag there. It's going to be some stragglers. We are going to be going both ways. I can't work it out. It's got some sort of vibration now, just randomly. There's some flutes above the, the disc that holds the blades and I feel like something might have been caught in there because it just made a sound like it was throwing something out and that vibration's gone, so I think that's all it was. This turned out sensational. Uh, it was a little bit scary when I got here. Um, that flail mower, Phil the flail mower. The flail mower has a name, it is Phil. Absolutely took care of this. Made my life a hell of a lot easier. Uh, it's, uh, it's testicular cancer awareness month. So I'm about to use the Mo Raider. I don't know how this is gonna go. This is a plan anyway. We're going to try and mow the shape of a man's appendage and um, in the grass. Uh, all in good fun, all for um, testicular awareness month. The charity that runs it um, reached out to me asking if I could do something like this and I thought sure why not it's not too hard hopefully it doesn't get me demonetized yeah I, I really don't know how it's gonna go I, I'm gonna throw the drone up in the air and uh, I don't know we're just gonna play this by ear <laughs> this could go really terribly uh, in fact I think it probably will but let's give it a whack well that was a failure 
I did end up getting some footage of the Mo Raider working, so I guess that's something. So it wasn't a, a total waste of time, but a little bit too hilly here. The grass was a little bit too long. Let's go for a run through that champ. See how you go. There you go through that champ. Ah. Oh. Well, looks like you got through it. You gonna come back to me? Not bad. So the hunt continues for a flat piece of land to mow something inappropriate. Semi inappropriate too. I guess it's not inappropriate for the cause.